Neither team got anything going at the start, so let's pick it up with Frankfurt's second possession of the first quarter. Jake DeLorme continues at quarterback for the Frankfurt Galaxy. And off the ground they go, Mark. Came in up easy, up easy. Is wrapped up after maybe a yard. John Hess coming up and making the stop on the man allocated from the Philadelphia Eagles, and that brings up second down and long and uh, both defenses so far proving pretty good i tell you what i think both defenses took the challenge they know they're going against good offense today and they're hustling around well the theory was that with two teams that love to air it out and certainly with one injury ridden secondary that there were going to be a lot of points in this game not so far what happens here for DeLong on second down he finds mccullough who gets nothing before joey ellams wraps him up and the ball is loose but I think they're going to rule that one dead. And it's down as incomplete. McCullough never had possession of it, or other scales never had possession of it. i tell you what, Jolie Evans does a really good job. You can see him right here being very patient. The guy catches the ball, makes a nice tackle. Well, he did have possession, and I think that was a fumble. Yeah, that was questionable. Yeah. I think that's a fumble recovery. But anyway, it brings up third down for the Galaxy, and DeLong will pass again, and no question that that is a complete pass to Sean Scales once again, Lee Wiggins on the stop. And the man from the Pittsburgh Steelers gets the chains moving. The ball spotted at the 39-yard line. De Curl and his offense trying to get something going here. Getting it going with Jake DeLong. Back on the ground they go and tie inside yards once again for the Frankfurt Galaxy. Maybe a pickup of three yards. Mark Kaczmarinski, who's as tough as they come. He really is. He runs the ball really tough. But I tell you what, the Claymore defense for that front seven is taking the tone right now. See. You can see the guys are penetrating using good gap control and just playing ball. Scales is wide left this time. McCullough wide right. Todd Floyd in the slot. And it's a completion out of first down to the veteran Mario Bailey. Lee Wiggins coming in on the stop. Mario Bailey, a five year veteran for the Frankfurt Galaxy, holds just about every world record worth holding him for this league. And a guy who just comes back because he loves to play. Mario does love the plays you can see right here it's a real quick pass he throws it out there and he's going to try to let mario make things happen a nice block and he just goes tough yards he's a small guy but he's tough and hard he's always backed up but it never stops him playing on first down the swing pass once again todd floyd this time trying to get past steve rosga rosga will bring him down after a pickup of six yards and significant that they get Todd Floyd more and more involved into the action. They brought him in in the second half last year, last week, and he really started to make an impact. Mario Bailey's shoulder was hurting last week, and Floyd came in and did an excellent job, played the slot, made some real nice catches. Played another one there. Picked up five yards, second down and five. The Galaxy in Scotland territory. Back on the ground they go once All again. Right, Catch Marinsky picks up another tough inside yards. And just as they platoon quarterback, we see Jake DeLong there. They platoon their two running backs. At the moment, it's Catch Marinsky. They'll, they'll rotate Jermaine Chaney and Catch Marinsky in and out of there. Two very different runners. Well, you definitely want to give different dimensions. Um, he's a little bit more of a tough run. You bring the other guy in. Just shows the defense a little different look in there. So, third down. They've struggled throughout the season on third down the Galaxy. Along with lots of times, finds Floyd once again, and Floyd takes it in deep into Scotland territory with Steve Rosger, the safety, wrapped up all around him, but that's another Frankfurt first down. And we talked about all the offensive weapons. We didn't talk about Todd Floyd. Uh, we sure didn't, and uh, he's doing a good job of catching the ball. You can see that DeLong is being very patient, waiting around, looking for seeing the guys get open, and they are getting open right now. Floyd with his second catch of this drive takes it down to the 25-yard line. The Frankfurt Galaxy threatening 
four wide receivers out. Delon puts it up in the direction of Scales, and a flag comes in. He was locked up one on one with Joey Ellums, and I don't think you need to be a rocket scientist to work out who this flag is going against. Ah, uh, no, you don't. Um, you can see right here that you have to be a little patient when you in cover. Sometimes guys panic; they think they're getting beat, and they grab on, hold First on, down. try to do anything uh, for them not to get a touchdown. You can see it right here. As he throws the ball up, he's all in his face. No <laughs> question about that. Pass interference. <laughs> And that's coming from a defensive guy, but you can't argue with that one, can you? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> and that means a first down for the Frankfurt Galaxy at the Scotland three-yard line. McCullough is the motion man. Back on the ground they go. Inside handoff. Not much doing there for Kaczmarinski. Campos on the stop. Dick Curl sends in the play for second down. And Kaczmarinski comes up. Well, I thought he was limping for a moment, but he's shaken that off. And it'll go down as a two-yard loss. McCullough goes to the left, scales to the right. Kaczmarinski in the backfield and trips to the left. That's where DeLong's looking now. He's flushed out and down and sacked and a big loss. Alan Campos again forcing that play, the outside linebacker. DeLong just ran into a whole stack of trouble and will lose seven. As you can see here, you got to look at the offensive line here. They don't do enough to keep these guys off the quarterback. You can see here, it's just great rush. Campbell does a good job of rushing on the corner. It's a sack time. And that's a loss of 10 yards in two plays. It's third and goal at the 13. The Claymore's defense stiffening. Can they hold him again? DeLong feels the pressure. Now he steps up and will run, and he's got a man wide open. Todd Floyd, touchdown. Frankfurt Galaxy, there was no one within 10 yards of Todd Floyd. We talk about Damian Craig scrambling to throw the ball. You see here, Jake does a good job of being patient. He reads the rush, he goes downfield, and the guy is wide open. And that's an easy throw. My little sister could have made that There's throw. There's no one there. I could have made it. I could have made that one. <laughs> well, maybe not. The veteran German, Ralph Kleinman, will attempt to tackle on the hey. point. No problems for Kleinman. That was all the scoring for the first quarter. Join us after the break for the second. Frankfurt head coach Dick Curl on the sidelines. They call him the Mad Bomber. Well, I don't, but Frankfurt people call him the Mad Bomber because he has this bombs away style. He loves to wear it out, but he'll mix it up as well. He likes to get a ground game going with it. And I know he has to be very happy right now. They're containing Craig, and they're doing pretty good on offense. Four wide receivers for the Mad Bomber on third down and long. This a big play for both teams. Barnes looks, waits, has a man straight over the middle is Andy McCullough making a clutch play over Denorse Mosley. And a pickup of 13 yards will bring up a first down and silences the crowd here at Murrayfield. We talked about Andy a little earlier. He's a big physical type receiver to get downfield. And he's a big target. When you see a big target like that, you like to throw to him. Yeah, he's got Chris Carter dimensions. He's 6'3 and about 215. I mean, a big guy. I just put five pounds on him, but I mean, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I understand about weight, trust me. <laughs> First down at the 30 yard line for Pat Barnes of the Frankfurt Galaxy. Barnes manages to get rid of it before he's hit, and he manages to find his big tight end, Werner Hippler. John Hess was there to make the stop on the man who used to play for the Cologne Crocodiles and who spent a season with the San Diego Chargers, Werner Hippler. As a quarterback, sometimes you got to stay in the pocket, tough it out, you get hit sometimes, you get dumped sometimes, but he's staying tough and he threw a nice pass. That was Jermaine Bonneau doing the dumping there, number 75. But Barnes bounces straight back up after a six yard game, facing a second down and four. Four wide receivers still in for the Galaxy, but they go on the ground. Maybe Came in. a couple of tough yards. The safety is really coming up. Tony Watkins was there. 
And Jermaine Chaney just ran straight into him. Make a play now. Be smart. And split right out. They'll give him maybe a yard. And that'll bring up third down and short. And you heard Dick Curl being very technical there, saying, be smart, make a play. Yeah, as, as any coach will want their players to make a play. So uh, good advice by Coach Curl. Werner Hippler, the tight end, is split wide right in an interesting formation switch. Barnes rolls, rolls. Now he takes off. John Hess came storming in to make the tackle, but not until Barnes has scrambled for a first down. You can see it's a really nice play here. Uh, Barnes runs outside. You can see on the left side that it's all sealed up. He goes, he goes, he's patient, he's patient, he takes the run, and he is really taking some hits right now. But I tell you what, it's another first down. They've converted another third down despite the tackle from John Hess. That's two third downs they've converted on this drive. The Galaxy up by seven. Now they go with trips wide right. All kinds of formations coming in from the Galaxy here. And over the middle, Mario Bailey takes it down to the 39-yard line. Steve Rosger was the only one there to stop him. But it's another first down and a pickup of 20 yards for the old campaigner. Well, a lot of times we talk about the special players, the quarterbacks, and receivers. Look at the offensive line. Do a great job of protection. Barnes take the pass. Go to Mario, and any time you get in trouble, you always go to your old bedrooms. And now Werner Hippler splits out wide right once again. They've got Andy McCullough in the slot next to him. And Barnes keeping the machine moving. Another completion. Todd Floyd this time, 12 yards. Lee Wiggins on the stop. And now this Galaxy offense is really starting to find its rhythm. Uh, I tell you what, even with the two quarterback system, they're still fighting rhythm. They're just marching down the field, taking their time, being very patient, get some good yards. It's amazing, isn't it? We just saw Jake DeLome, and I was thinking, is it right to take DeLome out? But right. they brought Blance in, and they haven't missed a beat. Well, they're similar quarterbacks. You're not really seeing a lot of change between the quarterbacks, so they both can go in there and do the job. Scales wide left, McCullough right. Floyd in the slot. All kinds of movement at the line of scrimmage. Five straight third down conversions for the Frankfurt Galaxy. And we're going to be hearing once again from Peter Morelli. And all kinds of things happening at the line of scrimmage there. And here is Mr. Morelli. Neutral zone infraction, number 99 on the defense. Five yard penalty, still first down. Chatoni Sargent so, assessed. Sometimes when you're playing defense, you get a little tired. You've been out there all day and you lose your poise. You can see right here, jumps offside. Just a nice hard count. That, in fact, was Brad Keeney that jumped. But it was Sargent that was assessed. <laughs> Those defensive guys hate that. Yeah, sometimes you get the blame when it's really not your fault. It's first and five for the Frankfurt Galaxy, who stay with that spread formation that's been working so well the last couple of series for them against the Scottish Claymores. And Barnes will air it out once again. And it's incomplete. The Norse Mosley broke it up, looking in the direction of Andy McCullough. And that's going to bring up second down. I can tell you right now, the Claymores really need to be poised, really need to be tough on this possession. They're getting close to the red zone. And sometimes for offense, it's a little tougher to score the red zone. So the Claymores really have to be tough and play some hard-nosed football. Well, it's Scales now split wide to the right. McCullough to the left. Mario Bailey in the slot. And he's looking for a man, and he's oh, almost, almost a touchdown. Joey Ellums just burned by Sean Scales. And both quarterbacks, despite that incompletion, have looked pretty impressive so far to Lom. Pretty much perfect. Barnes, four of seven for 51. But that one, nearly a touchdown. Just a couple of fingertips away. I tell you what, sometimes when you use a two-quarterback system, you worry about losing rhythm. Right now, Barnes and Jake are doing a great job of marching this team down the field. Tom Tovo checking into the lineup for the Scottish Claymores. For Frankfurt, it's McCullough to the left. Scales to the right. Cheney in the backfield. Another third down conversion. Barnes with all kinds of time. Mario Bailey 
Turning the corner on Lee Wiggins and keeping the drive alive and moving the chains. Doesn't drop too many, Mario Bailey. Uh, Mario's been around a long time. Actually, we came out together. He's really done a great job uh, breaking all kind of records, just being real patient. And I'll tell you what, Frankfurt is just doing a good job of getting five yards here, five yards there. Uh, the line is doing an excellent job of protecting, and he's just taking his time. It's the old thing. You uh, take what the defense gives you. You definitely do. So the ball spotted at the 14-yard line of the Scottish Claymores. Frankfurt looking to build on this seven-point lead. And Barnes, with a lot of time, has a man uh, in the end zone. Touchdown, Frankfurt. The old campaigner who's so banged up, Mario Bailey. He's had all kinds of problems. He's slow getting up there, but put another reception for a touchdown into the career stats of Mario Bailey. I tell you what, when you talk about old best, old best, the one thing about that they're mentally tough, even when they're hurt, you see he makes a play beforehand, and he makes a touchdown. Well, that's his 18th career touchdown. Just a couple behind Derek Clark, the all-time leader. Ralph Kleinman will attempt to tack on the extra point. No worries for Ralph, but plenty of worries for the Scottish Claymores. You know, Levon, I call him the old campaigner just because he's been here for five years. He's only 28, Mario. Well, 28 is pretty old for football. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 30 years old. I'm creeping up on retirement, so... Um, 30 years old is a young guy, but in football age, that's 104. Here comes Yo Murphy. And Murphy looking to try and turn the corner and is eventually slowed up and stopped at the 34-yard line. Tony Moranto coming up and making the stop with some help from Mike Reed. Murphy close to breaking that one. But super Mario Bailey, as he's known in Frankfurt, a 14-yard pass from Pat Barnes. And Frankfurt 14 points up. My question is now, who do you use, Barnes or Jake? They're both doing a great job. Doesn't matter, does it? They can put no. you in there with this system. Oh, definitely can. I can throw the ball. <laughs> and this guy can certainly catch it. Now, the question is, can I can't. Claymore's offense get something going? Nothing doing there for Yo Murphy, wrapped up by Alonzo Hampton. They'll give him a couple, but it's going to bring up second down and long once again for the Claymores, who seem to have been in second and third and long pretty much throughout this game. Well, we talked earlier, you have to contain Damien Craig, and what they're trying to do right now is get something short, five yards, three yards, and get this offense moving. Sean Bell, the tight end, is still out there, but he hasn't factored in the game yet. Craig, second down, the pressure comes from Whit from Whit Marshall, but Craig just turns the corner and picks up 17 yards before John Munch comes and nails him. That's that extra dimension we were talking about. We've seen it at last. Yeah, we, we sure has, but I tell you what, Sean Bell does a great job of sealing the um, linebacker, and Craig just goes there. Right here, you can see, just keeps it going, keeps it going, puts his hand up, and Craig just makes a great job. Officially, it's a 19-yard gain for Damian Craig, and a much needed first down. Now, what can they do with Ben Snell? And Ben Snell works his blockers and picks up good positive yardage. And if you're wondering about the name Snell, yes, this guy is related to Matt Snell, uh, one of the heroes of the Jets' win in Super Bowl three. It's always good to have a nice relative like that. I wonder did he hit him up for some money when he was young. <laughs> Well, he'll have Super Bowl dreams of his own, Ben Snell, allocated here by Baltimore. The Ravens saying, we don't really know what he's got. This is where you find oh, out. I'm sorry, babe. Again. The ball carrier seemed to run into his own man there, and Harold Bragg came up and stopped him for no gain. So that's going to bring up third down and four. Emery Smith checks out of the lineup for the Claymores. And you really feel that the Claymores need to respond here. Michael Jenkins checks in. He's wide left. Sellers wide right. And Craig with time. Now he's under pressure and he rolls out. And he's going to look to take off. And he's got some running room ahead of him, but still has some yards to make. Gets some great blocking and does the rest. That's what he does. 
at one point it looked like he was going to lose about seven. In the end, he picks up six and a first down. As a defensive lineman and linebackers, you hate a quarterback like this because the one thing he can do is make things happen. You can see the play breaking up. He scrambled to his right, comes back across the field, scrambling, scrambling. And what you're going to see here is a nice block. You can see right here. Hello. Sean Bell, yeah. Wow, knockout shot. Sean Bell enjoyed that one. The inside handoff. And good positive yardage for the brother of Emmett Smith, Emery Smith. Corey Gilliard eventually on the stop and a pickup of eight. We'll bring up second down and short. Bit of grass stuck on the uh, <laughs> the jersey there of Emery Smith. Well, for a fullback, you look for a really tough guy, and the grass right here shows what a tough guy he is. So that's a good yardage he gained. I better not mention Emmett Smith to you again, Levon. It might bring you up, bring up some nightmares for you. <laughs> Bad memories. Yes. <laughs> Second down, Ben Snell gets the carry. Emory Smith with a great block up front and a pickup of five yards and another first down. And the offense starting to pick it up for the Claymores. Jimmy Clements coming up from linebacker and making the stop, but another Claymore first down. Well, you got the light fullbacks. Here's Emory Smith right here. He's coming here and watch this nice block he gets. Bam! That's the kind of play you want. See, Emmett could never do that. Uh, Emmett can't block at all. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to run the ball. He can do one or two other things, but he can't block. First down. Craig will throw this time. He's a man wide open. Go Murphy. Murphy will pick up eight yards before he's wrapped up by Jimmy Clements, the outside linebacker. Now the Claymores are really getting into a rhythm. They're really taking their time, taking five yards here, five yards there, and marching down the field. It's positive yardage on first down seems to be making the difference on this drive because they, they, they found themselves in second and third and long throughout the first quarter, but good yardage on first down in this drive. Oh, you always want to get in third and short, second and short, and not get in second and long or third and long. Jenkins and Sellers from wideouts. Jenkins left, Sellers right. Second and short. Drake has a lot of time. Looks in the end zone. Turns down Scotland. Kevin Drake. And that was an impressive drive. They needed the response. And they got one. Kevin Drake. We've been the forgotten man in this offense. Just one catch coming into this game, but the man from the Cardinals picks up a 12-yard completion for six points. And now he'll hold as Rob Hart, the barefoot English kicker, will attempt to tack on the extra point. That's Drake hey, did well, and Hart did even better. The team swapped punts after that, so we rejoin the action on the Galaxy's next possession. goes downtown and it's a circus catch almost but not quite from McCullough Ellums and Wiggins were there let's, and let's run it you have to say uh, that was a catchable ball for Andy McCullough he got himself it, in position it really was he does a good job of positioning himself sometimes your receivers are not going to be wide open all the time sometimes you have to go out there and throw the ball and let those guys make plays and he usually catch that ball that time he just dropped it you know, if you're going to be really tough and critical, you've got to say that's the kind of ball you've got to hang on to <laughs> if you make the next step. Well, see, I'm a player, and yeah. I understand that players are sensitive sometimes. You've just been a nice guy. <laughs> but Andy McCullough knows he's going to make that one as well. The ground they go, Jermaine Chaney. Finds himself with all kinds of running room ahead of him and will pick up 14 yards before he's eventually corralled out of bounds. Denorse Mosley and Tony Watkins, but all kinds of space there for Chaney. And it stops the clock. I tell you what, what Chaney uh, does is does a good job of making the defense go this way. He has good vision, cuts back, and makes good yard. And one thing he does is carry that ball on his outside, the sideline hand. So in case he fumbles, he'll go right out of bounds. Jermaine Chaney, who has never even been invited to an NFL camp, which I find amazing. First down. All kinds of time for Barnes. And he'll take off and look for the sidelines as well with Tom Tovo in pursuit. But Barnes beats Tovo and stays in bounds for real good yardage. He picked up another 10 yards there before stepping out of bounds. Like I said before, we've been talking about Damian Craig scrambling the ball to throw the ball. But Barnes does a good job 
being patient, looking for his receivers downfield. He doesn't see anything. He takes off on the sideline. And right here, he's being a tough guy. He's not running out of bounds. He's trying to get as many yards as he can. You saw Alan Campos coming over and said, okay, that's far enough. <laughs> McCullough is wide to the right. Scales is wide left. Floyd is in the slot. They look in the direction of Floyd, who makes the catch over Alan Campos. And that's going to be bring up nine yards. And the Galaxy take a timeout. And Dick Curl's team in pretty good shape here. We're still with 45 seconds remaining and a couple of timeouts. They're pretty close to Ralph Kleiman's field goal range already. And out. All right, here we go. All right, listen to me. Let's go this way first. All right. How about this? How about just from wide? Go from wide. Go wide right. Wide right, 860 bucks. Now, you got the back swinging, too. You know what I'm saying? Make sure he knows, all right? Oh, we want, hey, listen to me. We want to make first down and get in field goal. Now, if we, we got two left. If there's a big play. Then time out. Okay. All right, here we go. Curl sends the play in, Pat Barnes goes in with it. As we look, uh, listen to Dick Curl, he said, hey, Pat, let's go in there, let's be conservative, get the first down, and try for the field goal. They've got to think in terms of another 10 or 12 yards to get them comfortably into Ralph Kleinman's range. But any time you have a second and short, it gives you all kinds of options offensively. And what does Barnes come up with? It's another, no, it's a drop. Sean Scales. Well, sometimes as a wide receiver, he does a good job of breaking out, but sometimes you got to hang on to the ball, oh. and Sean knows when he get back to Pittsburgh, I'm going to let him have it. <laughs> You'll let him have it tonight, knowing you. <laughs> Dick Curl will certainly let him have it. That's two yeah. drop passes All now on this drive. McCullough with one, Scales huh? with the other. That one looked a real easy one from up here as well, and it brings up third down and short, and Barnes rolls to his left and fires, and it's a complete this time, a much tougher ball to hang on to, and a timeout taken with 35 seconds remaining, but it's a first down once again for the Frankfurt Galaxy. They really do have a lot of options here, the Galaxy. They really do. The one thing I like is the coach and the quarterback always disagree on what play to Oh, yeah. That's a rule, isn't it? Barnes, with all kinds of time, finds Mario Bailey, who is tripped up, but not until he's inside the 15-yard line. Joey Ellums, and they don't burn the timeout. The clock continues to run. First down, and the ball spiked with 17 seconds left. What a nice catch by Mario Bailey. What a half he's had. Mario's just doing a really nice job. Um, I know he's hurting real bad. His shoulder's kind of banged up, but he's going out there anyway and makes some tough grab. And they really need this. This puts them in a really nice position for the field goal. Or possibly more. The ball at the 14-yard line. Cheney in the backfield. Barnes feels some heat. And it's picked off, and it's going to go. It's a foot race. Joey Ellums is going to win it for the Scottish Claymores. What a turnaround. Wow. You're talking about big plays, man. This oh. is a really big play. It really crushes everything. That was all the scoring in the first half. Join us after the break for the second half. We pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Frankfurt's second drive stalled, and they were forced to punt. Control. Gets it away, it's a high hanging kick and a fair catch call for. And an adjustment made at the last minute there. Now, have Frankfurt got the ball? The Galaxy have a mistake from Ellens. He seemed to react to that ball really late. And he's coughed it up. Well, just trying to make something happen. He called for the fair catch and um, just mishandled the ball. Ryan Olsen, who's your backup in Pittsburgh, is the guy who's recovered it. With Marshall, rather. And let's see if we can see what happened. Look at that late adjustment there. And it's Marshall who covers it up, number 54. 
the claymore was very unhappy with that. And the Galaxy get a big break. Marshall, that busy linebacker, falling on the ball. And Ellums, he was the hero in the first half. He's the villain right now. Well, sometimes that happens. Um, he's trying to get a handle on the ball, just loses control, and Whit Marshall alertly jumps on the ball. He did seem to lose it in the air as well, Ellums. And it gives Frankfurt the break they've been looking for. Color is the motion. Man. Catch Marinsky will catch the ball and a pickup of 13 yards before he's ridden out of bounds by Tony Watkins and Alan Campos at the five yard line. First and goal for the Frankfurt Galaxy. As we said before, Frankfurt is doing a good job right of just being patient. Jake looks around, looks around, goes to probably his third option, catch some more, and he catches the ball and good yards here. Well, their fifth trip to the red zone. Two touchdowns, two interceptions. What do we get this time? The inside handoff to catch Marinsky, who will hey, man, up a couple, perhaps. Jermaine Bono with the stop. And that's going to bring up second down and goal. Catch Marinsky just really does a good job. He only gets like three or four yards, but does a good job of grinding his feet, second effort. He's a good ball player. Well, he's proving his toughness here in this ball game. The man allocated from the Philadelphia Eagles. They only carry two running backs on their roster, the Frankfurt Galaxy. So both Catch Marinsky and Chaney have to play. Galon looks, fires, touchdown, Frankfurt, Sean Scales. Scales got his revenge on to Norse Mosley that time. Ralph Lyman will attempt the extra point. The Claymores had to punt on their next possession, so the Galaxy have a first and ten. So Frankfurt with the ball at the 26-yard line, and this an important series for the Scottish Claymores yeah. defense. The pressure comes, but Jake DeLong rolls away and stays on his feet and is eventually nailed John Hess. I'll tell you what, Jake does a really good job of avoiding the sack. You see him right here, he's looking, he's looking, he runs outside and lose contain. But the one thing he needs to do is slide because if he keeps doing that, one of those headhunters are gonna knock him out. Well, he'll pick up seven yards before running into John Hess, who's had a pretty good game. Jake DeLong's had a pretty good game as well, as you see those numbers, just the one interception into the end zone. Otherwise, he's pretty near perfect. Jermaine Cheney is strung out. Alan Campos was there to make the stop. Read that one all the way, the veteran former Dallas Cowboy. Oh, he got popped on that play, too, and a little trash talking. It's the first time I saw that all day. Yeah, it's been a very quiet game between two teams that uh, didn't get along too well in training camp, shall we say, but interestingly, that both sets of players have been very professional here today. Not much trash talking, not many flags either. It's been strictly business for both teams, and a big third down for both teams as well. DeLong with the swing pass, just dumps it over for Jermaine Cheney, who's got a bit of work to do, and he does it. First down, Alan Campos hustling over. Steve Rosger coming up from safety, but not until Cheney had done enough to move the chains. I tell you what, Cheney just does a good job of just finding the first down. Jake is really doing a good job, just being patient, just being patient. Looks at his third option, and Cheney just goes for the chains. First down. Ball spotted at the 37 yard line of the Scottish claim was the Galaxy. Up by three. Along with lots of time, and it's almost picked off. He was looking for Floyd. Rosger was looking for the interception. It was close. As a defender, you always want to get that interception. I know Steve is knocking himself side ahead, but I tell you what, great effort. The ball is tipped, and he just missed it. So Delorme <laughs> getting a little bit of a shove there. <laughs> A little bit, a little Aaron, bit, but the, the, line is doing a, a, the line is doing a great job of protecting him. Trips wide left on the second down. Yeah. 
Jake DeLong again with all kinds of time. And this time he does find Todd Floyd, who will pick up another first down. Cliff Ivory coming up and making the stop. And we talked about Mario Bailey, but I'll tell you what, Todd Floyd has been a real factor in this game as well. As we said before, Ty Floyd does a good job of running routes, and he's one of their favorite receivers. I mean, a guy's real patient. Jake is being real patient. Looking at his first option, second option, third option, just moving the ball all around the field. That was all the scoring in the third quarter. Join us after the break for the final quarter. Dick Curl and the Frankfurt Galaxy leading the Scottish Claymores 21-17. And their defense, led by Myron Moore, is reeling here. And they need to make a stand. A four-point advantage for the Galaxy. Jermaine Chaney just blasting his way through tacklers. And will pick up six yards before Alan Campos makes the stop. Just one or two signs of tiredness creeping into this Scottish Claymore's defense. That's the one thing about defense. When you're out there all day, the defense seems to get a little winded. The reason why is because you have to react all the time on defense. It takes a little bit more energy. Well, they're going to find some energy from somewhere. Second down, back on the ground they go, and Chaney with a lot of room turns the corner, still on his feet, could be gone. Now it's a foot race. Touchdown, Frankfurt. Jermaine Chaney. 47 yards. He just takes the ball, guys taking bad angles, and he's just off to the races. Great turn of pace, outstripping DeNorse Mosley and Cliff Ivory. And Jermaine Chaney re-establishes Frankfurt's authority in this game. And he's hanging on to that thing, look at that. <laughs> That's going home. Uh, uh, anytime you get, uh, get a touchdown, catch, a, catch an interception, you have to keep them on. Ralph Kleinman will attempt the extra point. And he has no problems. But I tell you okay. what, the Scottish Claymores have plenty of problems. It's 28-17 now. The Claymores had to punt on their next possession, so the Galaxy have a first and 10. And it's Barnes at quarterback. For the duration, barring injury, nothing doing there. Alan Campos read it all the way. Just came in and stuffed the play. A couple of tough yards for Mark Kaczmarinski. Alan Campos read that one from a mile away. I'll tell you what, Campos did, does a good job of just reading the play. Um, you can see him here at the end of the line, the right-hand side. This comes down, reads the play, and wow. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, the, uh, the Claymores can't afford these guys to get another point at all, not a field goal. They have to stop them here. Kaczmarinski did a pretty good job of getting positive yardage out of that. They'll give him three. Second down and seven. Barnes drops. Campos puts him under pressure and it's incomplete. That's going to bring up a third down. They were looking for scales. Look at those numbers for the Frankfurt offense today. Wow. They really have moved the ball up and down at will. I tell you what, they've done a very good job of just being patient, as we said before. Nickel and Diamond, uh, Claymore's defense, and there you see it, 400 yards. Well, you said it, LeVon, the Claymores have to stop them right here. Third and seven. Frankfurt very efficient today on third down. Barnes puts it up for grabs. Ellums with the interception. His second of the game. What does he do with this one? He's still on his feet past midfield before he's eventually stopped at the 47-yard line. It's all or nothing with Joey Ellums. He fumbles a punt. <laughs> he returns an interception 90 yards. And then when the Claymores needed something, he came up big again. He certainly is a playmaker. Murphy is the motion man. Can Scotland turn that to their advantage? Play action, buys Craig a whole bunch of time. He's going downtown for Scott Cooper. Oh, it's off the fingertips. I tell you what, I, I guarantee you, Scott Cooper wish he had that one back. I mean, uh, Damian did a good job with a play action fake, throws it downfield, and it's just off the fingertips of Scott Cooper. Just another yard of speed needed. Just a little bit more. It was a great pass, it really was. 
So instead of a touchdown, it's a second down and ten, and they go back on the ground to Jamie Reader, the big blocking back, who will pick up four yards before he stopped. Derek Stry coming up from inside linebacker and making the stop. And a third down and six for the Claymores. And with that 11-point deficit, you've got to start thinking maybe it's two down territory here for them. Well, you got to make something happen pretty quick. You don't want to go until five minutes left in the ball game. Even though that's a lot of time, you want to make things happen now. Craig tries to make something happen. He's got a man this time. Yo Murphy, oh, touchdown, Scotland. 43 yards. It didn't work to Scott Cooper, but two plays later, it did to Yo Murphy. And the Claymore's right back in it. I'll tell you what, it must have been either man-to-man -man coverage or somebody just missed their assignment. You can see Yo Murphy in the slot. This gives 21 a nice fake here, and he's off to the races, taking it to the house. Well, here's the two-point conversion with Cooper and Sellers wide. Murphy in the slot. And they look in the direction of Sellers, and he's made the catch. A big two-point conversion. And that was a great catch from Donald Sellers. And we have game on here. It's never over until it is over. The Claymores had to settle for this field goal on their next drive, so we pick it up with the Galaxy back in possession. So how does Pat Barnes deal with the pressure? Picked off last time out. The pressure comes up the middle. Brad Keeney, but he rolls away. Ooh. And there he finds his bread and butter guy, Mario Bailey. Steve Rosger makes the stop, but a milestone for Mario. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, the defense does a good job of putting some pressure, but anytime you're in trouble, you go to your old vet, and he's making it happen for him. There's confirmation. He now owns every NFL Europe passing record worth having. Barnes fires, finds a man, and the tackle is made, and it had to be by Cliff Ivory, otherwise Andy McCullough would have been gone. But nevertheless, another big Frankfurt first down. And Frankfurt again, even though they've had some trouble with turnovers, throwing interceptions, are being very patient on all this picking their turns, and we got a big athletic receiver like Andy McCullough, he can make things happen. The ball spotted at the 46-yard line of the Frankfurt Galaxy. Sean Scales limps to the left. McCullough, the big target, and the right flags everywhere. There's all kinds of stuff going on. Mark Kaczmarinski, he doesn't care. He'll play and run hard, whatever the situation. But there was all kind of movement at the line of scrimmage before the snap. Was the defense drawn? You can see here, number 92, Brad Kenny, just a little bit um, before. Just a little bit before. You have to be weary of the ball. Don't listen to the quarterback snap count. Look at the ball. Offsides, defense, penalty is declined. Second down. So smart running from Mark Kaczmarinski. That's what they say. You play to the whistle. <laughs> Always play to the whistle. A nine-yard gain for the man from the Eagles. And it brings up a down that quarterbacks love. Second and one, second and two from around the 38-yard line. Yeah, maybe Barnes is thinking end zone here. McCullough, wide right, scales to the left. The crowd trying to lift the Claymore's defense. The ball is loose. Again, all kinds of movement. Looks like Barnes was the first man there, but they'll lose a couple. Wow. Again, everybody was fidgeting and twitching at the it, line of scrimmage there. It was very close. They could have easily called offside on you the hit, defense. You hit Dick Curl there. said, Matt, what are you doing? <laughs> oh. Wayboard's going to break there. 
And that second and short becomes third and a tricky three. Just inside the 40-yard line. Another big third down for both teams. Barnes fires, has a man. McCullough could be off to the races and is. Touchdown, Frankfurt. <laughs> 40 yards. <laughs> i tell you what, Pat Barnes does a good job. He fumbled the ball before, does a good job of just coming back, having some poise, and he's looking for his big man, his big athletic re receiver, Andy McCullough. And Andy does a good job. Andy does just a good, good job of just breaking free and using his speed. You can see there, it's just a slam, a post pattern. He goes in, catches the ball, see you later, to the house, touchdown. Ralph Kleinman boots the extra point. The good news for the Frankfurt Galaxy is they are back in front, 35-28. The good news for Scotland is that play has happened quickly. They still have 2.21 left to try and respond. It's a lot of time in football. Two minutes, you got enough time to march down the field and make something happen. So the only thing they have to go in there and say, hey, we're going to be patient and make something happen. The clock, possibly Damian Craig's worst enemy now. It's down to 2.08. Murphy in the slot. Jesse Haynes is in the backfield. But nobody quite sure what's going on here. Well, one of the officials standing over the ball. I think they're going to let us play. They've come back from 14 points adrift. They've come back from 11 points adrift. Can they come back from 7 adrift here? The draw play to Jesse Haynes. First down Scotland. Caught the Galaxy cold with that one. Marshall and Gilliard coming up and making the stop, but a pickup of 10. This quarterback here for the Scottish Claymores, he's not bad either. And with two minutes left, can Damien Craig pull it back for them? He runs into trouble, then he runs. And this is where he causes trouble for the defense. First down yardage for Damian Craig. Other quarterbacks would have been dropped for a loss. Marshall and Maranto on the stop. First down, Scotland. Damian does something that you just really could not teach. He has athletic ability, he sees the field very well, and he takes off. This time he doesn't throw the ball, he's trying to gain yardage. They have two timeouts left. Craig fires, finds Don Sellers. Sellers will pick up 13 more yards. Derek Stry on the stop. But another Claymore first down. And the clock continues to run. Down to 120. They do have two timeouts left. They can still stop it if they need to. Two quick first downs. Low snap. Craig sees some space and will take off. And still on his feet, just dancing around and will be knocked out of bounds just a yard short of first down yardage. He didn't get out. In fact, now they have to take a timeout. Alonso Hampton with the stop. Craig really should have been looking for getting out of bounds there and just stopping the clock. He really should, but you got to like this guy because he has a lot of heart. He has a great competitive spirit. He said, hey, come on, 21, let me take you on. Well, he's a firecracker. Second and short. The ball spotted at the 15-yard line. Craig on second and short with all kinds of time. Looks, fires. It's a completion, is it? Blue stone, blue stone, blue stone. Another great effort from Donald Sellers, and it is a completion. How did he hang on to that? <laughs> I have no clue, but you look at the offensive line, do a great job of protecting Craig. He has plenty of time to scope all the field, and Donald Sellers just comes up with a terrific catch. All kind of time. Oh, wow, what a catch. What a catch. Woo. And Damian Craig with about a foot to go for a touchdown. Ben Snell is the motion man. Craig on the keeper. It's crossed. No signal yet. Touchdown is signaled. What a long wait, but the wait well worth waiting for for these Claymores fans.
I tell you what, this turned out to be an incredible ball game. Both teams are fighting to the fourth quarter. Damien Craig said, hey, I drove this team down here. It's my turn to take control, and I'm going to take it in myself. Meanwhile, the pressure switches to the barefoot kicker, Rob Hart. He's got to nail this thing with 31 seconds remaining. But Damien Craig, his versatility, his vision, his leadership have got the Claymores out of another hole. But Hart needs to convert this. And he does. And once again, these never say die Claymores are back on level terms. The Galaxy had one more chance for a win in regulation time, but the Hail Mary failed and the game went into OT. And remember that key rule difference. Each team allowed to possess the ball once. Scales, we know what he can do. He blows past Roel Blendon and then is nailed. Bernard Russ, the man with the stop, and letting Scales know about it, they needed a stop there as well. It means Frankfurt and Pat Barnes, who gets the call, take over at the 45-yard line. I'll tell you what, the pressure is going to be on the defense because, oh, wow, 495 yards total. That's like uh, playing PlayStation. It's incredible. Another 24 yards here, and it's a new league record. And with guys like Scales to the right, McCullough to the left, and of course Mario Bailey in the slot, there's more yards in this game. Jermaine Chaney is in the backfield. Barnes looks in the direction of Mario Bailey, who will pick up 14, maybe 15 more yards before he's stopped by Steve Rosger. That takes the Galaxy over 500 yards of offense. And it's been a record-setting day for the Galaxy in more ways than one. I tell you what, Pat Barnes does a good job of calling an audible. They were coming on a blitz on that play. He calls the audible. He looks at his veteran receiver, Mario, and says, hey, big man, go catch it for me. Barnes feels some heat. Alan Campos, as he's done so often this afternoon, blasting through untouched. They've never picked him up. I tell you what, Allen is having a great ball game here. You can see here, he's disguising. He said, I'm not blizzing, I'm not blizzing. On the snap count, he comes, and Pat Barn has no chance. A loss of five. Brings up second down and long. The former Dallas Cowboy doing a number on the current Oakland Raider. Second and long. Barnes can't find his man. He was looking in the direction of Todd Floyd, who is close to double figures in terms of receptions today. It's been that kind of game. I'll tell you what, uh, Pat Barnes here, he's looking, he's looking, he's getting some pressure. Now the Claymores are bringing a little pressure, which is making the passes a little short. Nothing Floyd could do with that one, but he's had a good game today, Todd Floyd. Jim Tom Sula, the defensive line coach, can only watch. He'd love to be out there. He's that kind of guy. This a big play for Frankfurt. They need this. Third and 15. Barnes has time. Has Floyd. Has a first down. to Norse Mosley on the tackle. 20 yards for the Frankfurt Galaxy. A new league record for most yards in the game. But more importantly, another Frankfurt first down. I tell you what, you have to give credit to the offensive line. They're doing a great job of protecting Barnes, and Floyd is doing a good job of just running the pattern, catching the ball, making first down. That one's huge. And Todd Floyd, by the way, equals a Frankfurt record, his 10th catch of the game. Back on the ground they go, Jermaine Chaney looking to cut back inside and blasting his way through tacklers. 13 yards and another first down for the Galaxy. Lee Wiggins coming up with the stop. I tell you what, if this guy has been invited to an NFL camp, he will after today. He's running the ball very hard, hitting the hole, has good vision, and just making first down. Well, you're making a call to Bill Cower after this, aren't you? <laughs> hey, let's get this guy a look. Hey, I think somebody needs to get this guy a look. First down. 
Jermaine Cheney gets a look, that time from John Hess. John Hess says, you may be going to an NFL camp, but you're not going anywhere on that play. Uh, I tell you what, Don does a good job of taking on a blocker here and just wraps up and make a nice play. He takes on number 68 here, and it's an ankle tackle, but it counts. Palmer and Hoffman checking out of the lineup for the Claymores. On second down on 15. They've been here before the Galaxy. Barnes will take off and then just dumps it off to Cheney. And Cheney, with all kinds of space in front of him, picks up another first down. Finkis and Wiggins on the stop, and good improvisation on the hoof there from Pat Barnes. I tell you what, the one thing I like about this Frankfurt offense is when they get in trouble, they come back with a lot of poise and make a play. Here's Frank Barnes. We've been talking about scrambling to throw the ball. He steps up. He's in a little trouble. He dumps it off to Cheney. Cheney makes a nice grab, takes it upfield. This guy is really running the ball very hard. I tell you what, these guys are playing a tremendous ball game. In field goal range now, but I think Pat Barnes is looking for more than that, and he may get it on this play. Denorce Mosley runs him out of bounds at the three-yard line. You can tell as Pat Barnes bounced up, he's ready to play. He's a competitor. He said, hey, let's get this touchdown play. Ready to go. It's a it's a it's a misread here. It's a messed up play, but he comes and says, "Hey, I can still make something happen." He's running to the corner, running to the corner. Has a chance, gets stopped, but puts his team in excellent position. And they spotted the ball just inside the two-yard line. We're in overtime. Matt Barnes puts the Frankfurt Galaxy ahead from two yards out. They've thrown down the gauntlet. The Scottish Claymores have to respond in overtime when they get the ball. So what can they do? They give it to Jamie Reader, who gets not much, maybe a yard, before he was stuffed. Corey Gilliard, the strong safety coming up and stopping that one. And that's going to bring up second down and long. Well, we're feeling the tension up here, LeVon. Goodness knows what it's like down there for these guys. I tell you guys. what, the kitchen right now is very hot. Mike Reed talked early, in the, um, early this week and said, hey, we have to do something. We have to stop these guys. It's their chance to stop them and put this game away. McCray will throw on second down. Gets good protection. Gets a wide open Don Sellers. Sellers will get some yards after the catch as well. Down at the 40-yard line. He's been open on that play whenever they've run it. I tell you what, as we said, as we stated before, Don Sellers was not very happy when he came here. He's doing a tremendous job now of showing the NFL teams what he can do. He just runs a very nice pattern. The DB slips down, and he's just trying to make some yards here. First down, Cooper is wide, lined up wide to the left, Sellers to the right. With the eye formation, with Reader in the block, and he's blocking for Jesse Haynes. Not much doing okay, there. Just running into a brick wall of Galaxy tacklers for a yard. Well, Jim Kreiner will be dreaming about the Scottish Claymores. He'll be dreaming about our cameraman as well. I'll tell you what. <laughs> He'll see him in his sleep. Dinkins having a tough time today. Second down. Craig fires, finds Sellers. Sellers looking to do a bit of shake and bake. And will be close to first down yardage. Hickson Marshall on the stop. And they'll give him seven yards, and that'll bring up a third down and two. Now the Sellers is having a great day. This time he sets his uh, defensive back up and say, hey, uh, going long, he makes the route short, catches the ball, and makes some extra yards on it. On third down, obvious it's two down territory. If they don't get it here, they'll have to get it on fourth down. Otherwise, this one's over. Cooper is wide to the left. They go straight up the middle. And the hey, big man, man Dover, 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 Dover. Jamie Reader, despite getting pushed backwards, looks like he's got enough to move the chains. He needed to get to the 30, and I think he's done enough. 
and I'm right again. I made that big mistake earlier, but I'm two for two after that. Dick Curl not happy. <laughs> well, on that play, all the thing he wanted to get is a first down. You give it to your big, your big fullback, and let him plow in there. First down, move the chains. Let's try to score a touchdown. What a game it's been. Sellers this time to the right, Cooper to the left. First down. The yeah, yeah. They need a touchdown on this drive. And they can't find Sean Bell, who'd got away from the cover guy, who was Tony Maranto, but they couldn't find him. And that brings up second down. That was the factor that was there for them last week against Berlin. They had this guy clicking. Today, they've never been able to work him open. Well, earlier today, Sean sprained his ankle. It's a little tough coming off the line. Whit Marshall's really doing a good job as far as jamming him up. They want to use him. It's not Bell's fault. He's showing a lot of heart in there today, but he just can't get over. Just, it's just one of those days that the ball and Sean Bell do not seem to be made for each other. Second down and ten. Craig slips. Moranto is in pursuit. And Craig just has to get rid of it. And that makes it third and ten. Wow, the kitchen's really getting hot. You can see the blitz coming up the middle. Actually, David Craig does a good job of just throwing the ball away. That's all he could do with Moranto in pursuit. Because that would have been a disaster. That would have been a 15-yard loss. That would have really hurt. Tony Moranto, who came here in a trade with Berlin. And the way the Thunder season has started, he's probably quite happy about that. <laughs> Third down. Craig will throw again. All kinds of time. Sellers does it again inside the 10. Michael Hicks on the stop. What a game Donald Sellers has had as well. Sellers is really showing up. It really looks like the same route they had before. They run one guy out the field, a tight end up the field. Sellers sells like he's going up the field. He comes under. A nice catch here. He's really making a lot of things happen today. Well, he's over 100 yards, well over 100 yards. There's the official numbers. 20 yards a catch as well for Don Sellers. We've had Todd Floyd into double figures for the Frankfurt Galaxy. We've had Mario Bailey setting a new record as we get to the two-minute warning in overtime. It's been a good day to be a receiver. It's been a bad day to be a coach, the kind of day that makes you wonder what you're doing this for. I tell you what, great day for the receivers. The DBs have to be hated this day, and the defense. Both defenses have to be saying, what can we do to stop their offense? Jesse don't know what to do. Jesse don't know what to do. All right, let's get let's get Jesse out of there. Get Jamie. What are you going oh. on? What you got? All right, let's get. Should we get uh, Ben in? Well, if Jesse doesn't know what to do, you. If he doesn't know what to do, Coach, we got to get his ass out of there. Are you okay? Are you okay? You sure? All right. All right. You got your bang post? Or you're driving your basic? Well, let's hope Jesse knows what to do now. I really hope Jesse knows what to do because if he doesn't, man, he's going to hear it. Damien Craig knows what to do. The Claymores know what to do. They've got to hit the end zone. Two minutes left in overtime. The Claymores must score a touchdown. And Craig may take off and just shows his elusiveness again. Gets away from Marcus Riestra and looks. And he, oh, he had a man. He had Jesse Haynes alone in the back of the end zone and he overthrew him. He was right there. I guess Jesse does know what to do. I tell you what, Damon does a good job of getting out of this heat. He scrambles to his right, comes back to his left. He has Jesse Hayes wide open. This overthrows the ball. Look at this. Nobody anywhere near Haynes. And that ball nowhere near Jesse Haynes either. A lot of times on defense, they say when a quarterback is scrambling that you have to post up with your man, carry him all the way down the field. Well, Jesse knew what to do. He did nothing wrong. Play action. Damien Craig gets away from one tackler and is in trouble, and that's a loose ball. And if the Cla wait, Galaxy wait, have got wait. it, it's over. Wow. Willie 
Whitehead, who played with Damian Craig at Auburn, ends what's been a thriller of a game.